Schoology allows you to create custom grading scales. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pass-fail grading scale. And to begin, you're going to need to visit your gradebook within one of your courses. Once you're in your gradebook, choose the option for grade setup. Over on the right, you can see I have already created some additional grading scales. And to create a pass-fail grading scale, I will use the Add button and choose Scale instead of Rubric. I will title this Pass-Fail. And now I need to customize what I want Schoology to use for calculations in the gradebook. So I'm going to set my range for Pass, or P, as any time a student scores, say, 75% to 100 on an assignment. Now I need to add a level for fail, and I'll say fail is anything from zero to below basically 75%. The letter conversion is what score will the student get in the gradebook when I type in a P or an F. So when I type in P for pass, I want them to basically get 100% of the points for the assignment. If I type in an F for the assignment, I want them to get 0% of the points, but you can change this if you want even those students who failed the assignment to get half of the points for at least turning it in, you can change that to be whatever you want, 50%, 20%, whatever percentage of the points you want Schoology to use for grade calculations. Now, if you want students to only see a PRF in the gradebook and not see how they scored individually on the assignment, not whatever grade you gave them, if you really want it just to say pass or fail, then you'll put a check mark in the only show letter grade box. So students, again, will only see P or F. They won't see that you gave them an 80% on the assignment, which equated to a P. So I do want mine to be a very strict pass-fail scale. I think I'll just stick with the letter grades. When you're done, just click Save Changes. Once this scale has been created in one of your courses, you can easily copy it to your other courses. So still on this grade setup screen, I can go up to the Copy Settings button. And I can select what areas of this gradebook I want to copy. I can copy categories, grading skills, or rubrics. So if I just want to copy my grading skills to my other courses, I'll put a check mark in that box. And then here's all the other courses that I am an administrator in, or have that crown in, and I can just put a check mark by any of the courses that I want to send this grading skill to. Now let me show you how you attach this grading scale to an assignment. So the grading scale has been created, and now when I go into any of my assignments, I can attach that grading scale. So here's an example of an assignment that I've already created that I want to use a pass-fail grading scale with. I'm going to choose the gearbox next to the assignment to edit it. This is the same exact dialog box that I get when I'm creating an assignment from scratch from the first time. So I will title my assignment, put in a description, and assignments default to a numeric grading scale. You can see I put in 20 points possible for this assignment, but if I don't want it to be shown in the gradebook or scored according to just a point-based numeric scale, I can use my drop-down menu under Scale Rubric, and now I can select my pass-fail grading scale. Save my changes. Now that I have adjusted the grading scale, I can grade it accordingly. So let me go ahead and open this assignment. You can see that two students have submitted the assignment and to preview their work, I just need to click on the name. I get a preview of the movie. And now I can grade with points. If I, if I went into and go ahead and type in 18 out of 20, this student will actually see pass in the gradebook because 18 out of 20 is higher than that 75% cutoff I put for a pass. But usually you'll just type in P or F. So I'm gonna select P for pass. Click Submit to turn in the grade essentially. And now let me preview my course as Angela to see what this looks like from her view. So if I go into my course options and choose view course as, I'll choose Angela, the student I just assigned a grade to for the iMovie assignment. I'm previewing as Angela now and I'll click on her grades button. I know that assignment is at the very bottom of this list of all these demo assignments I have. There it is. You can see that she has turned in an iMovie. She has a P for pass. She does not have the points listed. She can see that the assignment was worth 20 points. And again, I've set up my pass-fail scale. Then anytime I type in pass, she essentially gets 100 points for that assignment. Now let me take you to the gradebook view as an instructor so I can show you how this is a little bit different than the view that the student sees. If I select gradebook, 
Here's that assignment turned in an iMovie, and even though I typed in a P for pass for Angela, it went ahead and converted that to the points, because Schoology will always use points in the gradebook for averages. I can also grade from here. I can go through, and I can type a pass for all my students, or fail, depending on the student. When I click Save Changes, those indicators are all converted to points. If at any time you're not sure what grading scale you've assigned to an assignment, you can just simply hover over it in the gradebook and you can see the scale right there. So that's how you create a pass-fail grading scale in Schoology.